to Educator. We're in the Calculus 1 sequence looking at higher derivatives and specifically here I want to look further at finding a formula for the nth derivative of a function. So we're dealing with the function f of x equals 1 over x. The best way to find a formula for the nth derivative is to compute several derivatives and note the pattern. Let me first point out that 1 over x is x to the negative first. And I'm going to use the power rule to differentiate x to the negative first. So our derivative is negative 1 x to the negative second. Differentiating that, we get f double prime of x equals negative 1 times negative 2. So that's a positive 2 x to the negative 2 minus 1, so a 2x to the negative third. Differentiating that, f triple prime has a factor of negative 3 come down, and I'm going to write this as negative 2 times 3 x to the negative 3 minus 1. So it's a negative 2 times 3 x to the negative fourth. At this point, you can probably see a pattern that's developing, but to make sure we're spotting the pattern correctly, let's compute one further derivative. So the factor of negative 4 from the exponent comes down, the negative 1 times negative 4 is a positive 4, and we get 2 times 3 times 4 times x to the negative 4 minus 1. In other words, we have 2 times 3 times 4 x to the negative fifth. At this point there's a clear pattern and so again we're not proving this pattern here but it certainly looks like the nth derivative would look like the following. Now notice that we're alternating sign. We have a negative sign, positive, negative, positive. And to do that alternation of sign we use a negative 1 to the nth power sort of thing. So I'll put a negative 1 to the nth power. Now notice that the first derivative needs to give us a minus sign, and negative 1 to the first power is negative. The second derivative needs to give us a plus sign, and negative 1 squared is positive. If, if the signs were flipped from what we wanted, then we could do a negative 1 to the n plus 1 sort of thing. But here, negative 1 to the n is giving us the right signs. The 2 times 3 times 4 is 4 factorial. The 2 times 3 is a 3 factorial. The 2 is a 2 factorial. So we seem to be building up factorials. So I'll put negative 1 to the n times n factorial. Then we have x to a power. Notice that in the power, the fourth derivative had a power of 5, which is 4 plus 1. The third derivative had a power of negative 4, where 4 is 3 plus 1. The second derivative had a power of negative 3, where 3 is 2 plus 1. In other words, the pattern seems to be opposite of n plus 1. So again, when n is 4, we get opposite of 4 plus 1, giving us the exponent of negative 5. And so I'm suggesting that the nth derivative here is negative 1 to the n, n factorial, x to the opposite of n plus 1. And let's do one further example looking at this sort of pattern development.